I'm going to make my version of the Big Mac, the Jazzy Big Mac. And what I love about making at home, well, it's a bit of fun and also you can create your own sauce. So we're going to start with the meat. Get some good quality beef mince. I like mine to be slightly fatty. It just means that the patties are going to be extra juicy. You don't need to add loads of flavours in here, chopped onion or anything like that. Just keep it simple. A really good pinch of salt. So we're just seasoning it, maybe one more, and some freshly cracked pepper. Okay. Now we're going to get our hands and just mix that salt and pepper throughout the meat. And I'm going to divide this meat into four even parts. So I just like to do it into the bowl and we'll just break that up into four balls and then you can just perfect it and make sure that everything is quite even. What makes this burger so iconic and so delicious is the way it's been built. So there's three different layers and it's that secret sauce that I'm going to try and make today. So once you've got your four balls, then we're just going to massage that together, make it into one round ball, and you can pre-do this, pop them in the fridge ready to go. You can even put these on the barbecue. To make sure we get that perfect circle, just grab yourself some baking paper, two pieces, one, two. We'll place one into the centre, and just press it down, grab another piece and just pop it on top and that just makes sure that it's quite even. You want to measure it up with the bun because you know that the meat is going to shrink as it cooks. So just about a centimetre bigger than that bun is what we're after. So keep measuring it, having it a look and tidying the sides up. Then press it together. If you want to be extra pedantic and make these the perfect circle, grab yourself a cookie cutter like this one and just mould it tease it around it and you'll get that perfect patty. Oh, look at that. And then for the second one, we do the same thing, press it out quite far and then just mould that like this. And you can see just by squishing it into the sides, you don't have to be perfect. It'll just naturally form into that round. All right, that is done. So we'll put our patties to one side. And let's get the bun ready next. So we've got to cut this into three. And what I like to do, just to make sure it's cut perfectly, before cutting into it straight away, just measure it up. So we just want to put one incision at the top there and then one just on the base. And then when you can see that that's quite even, then you're safe to cut and use a serrated knife. So we'll just line that up and carefully cut the top off. And then again, the base. And what I recommend is using burger buns that are one to two days old. The drier it is, the easier it is to cut this stack. So there you go. It's all ready to go. We'll pop that to the side too. I like to prepare everything before we start frying. So the next part is our special sauce. In a bowl, I'm going to combine some whole egg mayonnaise. You can make it yourself or you can buy it. To that, classic sauces, some mustard, just some American style mustard. I go quite heavy on that, along with some tomato sauce, some garlic powder, and a little vinegar just for that zing, so just white vinegar, and Worcestershire sauce. I love Worcestershire sauce. You just need a little drizzle of it. It's gonna give it a really nice savory flavor. So we'll mix that up. And the last few ingredients, we want that distinct rosy color. So just a pinch of paprika. And we need those classics in there too. Some gherkin that I've finely chopped along with some onion. So this is just a white onion and I'm just gonna finely slice this. I need this onion not only for the sauce but also to sprinkle between the, all the layers at the end. So we'll just finely chop this as fine as we can get it. And for the sauce, we only need a teaspoon or so. Okay, we'll just pop that in there. A few little extra ones. We'll leave the rest of this onion for later. And then let's just give that a stir. All right, sauce is done. Let's get onto frying the patties. So just in a pan over a medium heat, we'll add just a hint of oil, not too much. Drizzle that around the pan and then in with our patties. So first one down, ooh, good sizzle. And you want to press down on it as you cook it, just so it holds its shape nicely. 
Second one, pop to one side there, press down on it. And I want to cook these patties for about one to two minutes on each side. In the last few seconds, that's when I'm going to toast the bun on all sides. The buns, oh, look at that, toasty and hot, 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 fantastic. Place the base of the bun on the plate and don't forget the cheese, two layers of cheese. I like to put them directly onto the hot meat. We'll turn the heat off and we'll start with that delicious sauce. So a spoonful of the sauce on the bottom. We want all of that sauce. You don't want any spots showing, so just cover the base completely. A little sprinkle of onion and pickles. You can make them into the classic rounds or you can just finely chop it like I have. And one of the patties, you can see that cheese is just melting. We'll place that on top. More sauce. And a little less this time because we just don't want it to fall over. And now lettuce has to be iceberg and you want to finely shred it. So use a sharp knife just to run through. See how I'm moving my knife back and forth like that to get it as fine as you can. Okay. And then we'll just pile that on top. I'll add some more onion, some more pickle, and we need to add some sauce to the top of our burger bun. So another little bit. Sauce everywhere. If you're a lover of sauce, you're gonna love this. All right, last patty on top. And we'll top that, there you have it. So impressed with that. I told you it's a lot of fun, and of course it's going to taste so good. If you're in the mood to treat yourself and wanna replicate it, why not try it at home? Change it up a bit, maybe put some tomato in. Nah, you can't have tomato in a Big Mac. Just make it exactly like that.